Hey guys, it's Sky, and today I'm gonna do the Tangled Book Tag. So I was tagged by Gabrielle from Between the Pages to do this tag. I have the questions on my computer as normal. Anyway, let's begin. Question one, Rapunzel. Name a book with a bad heroine. And for that, I'd have to say Jane Eyre. I read it for the Couple of Pages book club recently, and I'm sure you're tired of hearing me say that, but I did. She's not like Selena Sarkothian. She's not that kind of heroine, but I think she's a really strong female character. Question two, Flynn Rider, a book with a swoon-worthy character. And for that, I would choose Siege and Storm by Lee Bardugo. And I am not talking about The Darkling, which is like everybody's thing about that book. It's Nicola. I don't know, he's the only reason why I read the book. I just love, like, pirate characters. I don't know, he's kind of a pirate. I like his character. Question three. Eugene Fitzherbert. A book with a character that you didn't think you were going to love. Um, I think I would have to say The City of Dreaming Books by Walter Murs. The main character is named Optimus Yarn Spinner, and he is from, he's this dragon, I think, dinosaur? from Lindworm Castle. He's just a good character. Question four, Mother Gothel, a book with an amazing villain. And for that, I would probably choose The Phantom of the Opera by Gaston Leroux. He is kind of insane, but I, I don't know, there's just something like the quote, if I am to be a monster, I think, it's because you made me so. He's such a rich character, um, very three-dimensional. Number five, Maximus and Pascal, a book with amazing side characters. Can, like, multiple main characters count as side characters? I'm gonna count it. So the candy shop war, all the characters are really witty, they're funny, they're kind of reckless, but they're just really endearing characters. Number six, when will my life begin? A book you've been anticipating, and that 100% goes to The Long Lost Home. So it's the sixth book in the Incorrigible Children series, and I am so sad that I haven't read it yet. It came out like last week, and I am dying, but I can't read it until it comes to the library and I have to read it on audio because the narrator is amazing. That is something I've been anticipating for so long. And the author, she like talked to me on Instagram and it made me so happy. Oh wow. Anyway, fangirl moment aside. Number seven, Mother Knows Best. A book you gave a chance because someone recommended it to you. And for that, I'd say Decked with Holly by Marnie Bates and it was horrible. As I've mentioned before, if you like fluffy, um, romances, contemporary, you would like it. I hated it. I only read it because my friend recommended it to me and she would not stop talking about it. So I had to and it was really not that good. Number eight, The Snuggly Duckling, a book with an anti-hero. I'd say probably Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I'd say Jekyll is an anti-hero because he does stuff that he really shouldn't have and he like knows better but he still does it. Number nine, I've Got a Dream, a book that inspired you. For that, I would say A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett. It inspired me to be a more positive person because Sarah, the main character, is so positive even when all sorts of crazy stuff comes her way. She stays positive, and I want to be like her. Number 10, I See the Light, a book that changed your perspective about an issue. I don't really read a lot of, like, contemporary, um, I don't know, like, issue-based books. I'm not sure that I have an answer for this one. Number 11, Rapunzel's Hair, a book with a magic system that you found fascinating. For that, I would probably pick A Darker Shade of Magic, that trilogy. The idea of Antari and all their like traveling between worlds, that's just such a cool concept. Number 12, Eugene's Death, a book with a plot twist that you still think about today.